Hey, this is Brian Gorby. You can't see me, but I'm here with Howard Tolman. Okay, I'm the President and CEO of Tribeca Flashpoint Media Arts Academy. And awesome. Welcome. So, thank you. Thank you so much. So tell me uh, briefly a little bit, for those that don't know, because I know so many people already know, what Tribeca Flashpoint Media Arts Academy is about. Because okay. I think it's, when you say academy, first thing I think people think about is a school. But I know you guys are far more than a school. Well, so we're actually a, um, <clears throat> a giant digital sandbox and incubator that's masquerading as a school. <laughs> nice. So we're a two-end, two-year, high-end media arts school. We focus on five disciplines, so broadcast, film, animation, visual effects, recording arts, computer game development, interactive media, and visual communications. You come here full-time, two years, you get a job. Pretty straightforward. That's pretty awesome. And I know um, there's a incubator. There's another incubator in town called Accelerate. And I know you guys had um, both mentors there. You've actually had students that were teams there. Um, I know a lot of companies that are that are just you guys are almost like breeding out of the students that sure. you have. Sure. So, so not we only have... just into normal business jobs, but actually students coming out and starting new jobs. Yeah. Actually, we hooked up some of our first graduates with BizSpark and uh, some other programs. We're incubating them now over at some of our additional space <clears throat> at the Merchandise Mart. And they just uh, closed their A round for about a million plus, and now they're doing a B round. Tap Me Games, in-game advertising. Uh, in the meantime, they've got four or five other companies that are there as well, uh, where we're just sort of, you know, it's very uh, important that incubators be organic. So. Yeah. What we're trying to do is constantly push the envelope on the technology because our students are not just going to go work for some feature film company. They're going to work for every company in America which is engaged in this migration from analog everything to digital everything. Right. And any company that hasn't figured that out, it's just a matter of time. Yep, yep. So you are um, you're, you're here in Chicago, Illinois, but I know you guys have, based on your name, Tribeca Flashpoint, you have some ties. Um, not just here in Chicago, but in other places too. Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure. So we, so about a year and a half ago, Bob De Niro, who's, who's now our partner, uh, invested in the company, in the school, because they were looking to broaden the Tribeca brand. And you know, you you can only have uh, so many shrimp on a plate at a right. film festival event, and then you actually have to do something else with some of your money. So. Um, it's been great. Uh, we've had students go to the film festival, work the film festival, meet a lot of directors. One of our student teams um, has a film right now that's been accepted in the Chicago International Film Festival. Fabulous story about an obsessive fan who gets to be Hulk Hogan's best friend, and that's who he was obsessing about. And obsess nice. So it's called Seder Mania. The guy's name is Chris Seder. So that'll premiere this Saturday night on the at Chicago Film Festival. Oh, fantastic. And uh, so the Tribeca Connection helps in New York. It also helps uh, next week where we have a film festival in Doha, in K Qatar. A uh, lot of contacts, a lot of doors open. Turned out to be a really good marriage. That's fantastic. So we're here in Chicago Ideas Week. This week is a, kind of a festival of innovation, technology, poetry, film, all of these things. Uh, I know Tribeca Flashpoint. Uh, is, is very much involved. What is it that you're hoping that um, people and or viewers that might see tidbits of Chicago Ideas Week really get out of it? Well, look, I think that, you know, the, the biggest single deal about Ideas Week is it happens to be, you know, very directly connected to the fact that we have a new mayor. And, you know, I used to say that we lived in this world where everything eventually came to the fifth floor and it was a tiny little conversation and it had to be sort of scaled accordingly. Now I feel like the world is ahead of us and we've got a team in there that doesn't see any necessary limitations. We've got financial issues, but if we're gonna work our way out of it, it's gonna be invention, innovation, new businesses. New businesses in the first five years are clearly the source of most job growth. And so the message you know, that this reinforces is uh, there's not just two coasts. I mean, we're in the entertainment business, but I can tell you that our economy is healthier in Chicago than on either coast right now. And I'd rather be here than be one of 10,000 people sitting at Starbucks out on the West Coast yep. or in New York trying to figure out how do I find a job. Yeah, yeah. Well, thanks, Howard. I appreciate you taking the time. Look forward to seeing you throughout the week. Great.